pan is ready to drop. So hopefully I'll be able to see this. I need, I need a second person here. Ah, got it. Okay. Now one thing I tell you. When you go to pop this thing loose, ouch. Whenever you pry on something, get between the pan and the gasket. If you bend the pan, you can bend it back out and fix it. If you drive a, up here above the gasket and put a groove in the block, you're not fixing that. Not easily. All right, two bolts left. I can already feel this thing. It's got a little weight to it. And, all right, we got one more little bolt to go. Oh, she's gonna be stuttering. All right, we'll take, we'll take care of that real quick. And, Right there. All right. It's party time. And hopefully, I can get it to drop out. And we're going to take a look and see. Oh, I feel it. Yeah. She got some sludge in her. Okay. Put my little grip hand back under here. Got a little grip for a while. And uh, let's see what we're looking at up on the hill. All right, we've got, well, you can see she's dirty. Yeah, old pump screen, let's see. Looks a little sludged up. Uh, let's see, here's your return tube. And what we got here? Yeah, a little something there. Oh, she could use some new gaskets. Uh-oh. Here comes Shop Cat Lizzie. Yeah, she gonna give this thing a CAT scan. Look at that fiber gear up there. We're gonna replace that because by replacing this seal on the, on the bottom of the pan, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the front because I'm gonna service all this motor. So by pulling the front, I'm gonna go and put a new cam gear in just cause a smart thing to do. Uh, rods look good. I mean, she's nothing. She's good. So that's it until we open up the pan and you can take a look and see that thing's tight. Somebody left that tight and he should have unloosened that screw so this oil pump can drop down in there. So I may pull a cap just to look at the Babbitt. So. Until we get this pan apart, and I'm going to show you the inside then. Stay tuned.